don't like doing housework because it is boring. Boring. <laughs> the birds in cages, I can't ever imagine, right? They have to be free. I'm, you know, I like to be free, right? I couldn't imagine ever being in a cage. <laughs> My passions are my songwriting. That's prime, that's up front, first of all. But I also love my dicky birds. My little dickies. Oh, they are so beautiful. Quite an attractive place. Yes, I know. I've never been here before. Might have always had to be in Maid Marian, you know. I suppose I... that leaves me as the little man in the green tights. Well, of course, naturally. I think naturally. it's right here. Oh, the dirty beggar. Zany songbird Corinne Graham is a successful Eurovision songwriter who loves to hang out in her lounge, relaxing, eating, and bashing out tunes. <laughs> all in the company of her 11 beloved birds. That's Brittany, that's Ricky Woo, that's Jerry, that's Sylvie, that's Yellowhead. That's a very pregnant Maisie. And over here, Ms Moshi, then you've got little blue one, which is Robbie W. That's Charlie Bubbles Bum Bum Bird. And last but not least, Billy Bong John, Pavarotti Parrot the Third. Colin's captive audience has scored a few hits of their own. The bird confers with Crean every time, but when I come up, it's very hard to find somewhere to sit because of the bird poo. Oh, dear, this'll be a tough one for the nation's dream cleaners, dirt detective Aggie McKenzie and cleaning queen Kim Woodburn. They'll be spitting feathers when they see the state of Corin's nest. Let's get stuck in. Oh, I'm really... I, the strength is in me. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? Smells like a farmyard. Don't be quiet. Kim and Aggie don't normally get in a flap. But every inch of this room is covered in festering faeces. Oh, well, just don't try to keep quiet for the birds fl fluttering. Everything is covered in faeces and urinating, and if you touch the sofa, the... the oh. Oh, look, look. Chicken, isn't it? This, is, this isn't a bird that landed here ten years ago and it's, just, it's, it's a... <laughs> Forgotten to move. Kim, 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 look at this. Look at the back of the head. Look how black that is with grease. We're standing in a giant, stinky, pony yes. bird cage. Yes, we are. Yes. Kim, look at this. Look, the week's dishes. She never no, takes she anything just waits until she kitchen. runs. There's right. all chicken bones. Look, there's five this? plates here. Don't humour the birds, humour the birds. can this get? Lordy, Lordy, look at this. Nothing is sacred. The songstress's instrument is covered in droppings. I'm gonna I don't know what to say. Let's go, go. Come in, let's do it. Oh, God! Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I never meant to keep quiet, but it's very shh, difficult. Shh, shh. Come on, why you that more? <laughs> You know, I always say, I don't know how people can live like this. Well, I really mean it this time. I've never meant it more. You know what, Aggie, this is, it's frightening and horrible and beastly. I don't, look at these getting ready. It's a complete them. mystery to me. These birds may be living in paradise, but Corinne's kitchen is no Garden of Eden. Garlic. Oh, oh, ancient, look, look how old look, it look is. Look at this, look. There's no life in it. Oh, oh, it's, it's naffy, isn't it? She's she's filled the bin. She's then started just throwing it. Look, she's just bags of. This is just bags of rubbish. It's not just the floor that's doubling up as a bin. This is a sink. Oh 
Look She's at throwing that. rubbish look in her that. sink. OK, Kim, I dare you. I sniff that. Look at the bacon. You don't have to, my dear. You do not have to. Oh! I've never seen anybody Ooh, look, look, throw, look, 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 throw look, rubbish in the like sink. That, my dear. What? Oh, my dear. Oh, this is just so horrendous. It's like she's lost the way. She needs help, this woman. Nervously, Kim and Aggie venture upstairs. Luckily, it's a no-fly zone. Oh, golly. Look at all down here, Aggie, look. Look at the... Oh, Ags. Look. Mm. Look. Look, look. Mm. Oh, look at the dirty beggar. Well, I'll tell you something, it's the usual horrible dirt. Mm. But I'll tell you something, Aggie, compared with that lounge downstairs. Oh, uh, this, is a, this is, a, this is a, a, a haven, isn't it? It is, it's paradise. Time to confront this filth offender. Oh, God. Where is this woman then? <gasps> right. Hello. You I'm notice agree. the protection up here, these. don't you? Oh, yes. That, that's yeah. from the rain outside, isn't it? No. She's a comic cut, isn't she? Listen. This is to start the the uh, the oh, doody. Oh, it's only Billy. Oh, oh, it's only Billy. Hello, Billy. This, dear, this is oh. outrageous. This is a massive bird cage, lovely. Well, I don't really notice it. You know, I think I'm becoming new not, to them. How can you not notice it? it? Well, they're my babies, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Little diddlies. Can't you put them back of the cages? Well, they don't want to go in the cages. They're birds. They need to have big wings. Yeah, and but fly. you can't live like this. How can you sit in that seat and eat your dinner? Like surrounded by all the poo. When they come over, I don't notice. It's, it's even got your worse walls recently. are spattered with. I know. Do. Yeah, well, you know what that is, don't you? What do is do? that? No, you know if they do it on you, you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why have you called us in now, particularly? Because it's all got too much, right? I can't bear it. You so know, it is actually driving me crazy. And I think if I sort out my life this way, get it nice and clean, the rest of mm. my life will follow. I hope it will. I think. So yeah. when you say it's driving you crazy, in what sense is it driving you crazy? It's just, it's just too much. Even too much for me. I mean. Yeah. You know, okay. I don't want to live like this, and I don't want people to think that right. I live like okay. this. Okay, so you know? you're in a deep hole, and you need help in getting yeah. out of it. This filthy nest calls for reinforcements. A flock of cleaners is flying in for the day. That's the avenue, rattle those mops. Good luck to you all, let's go, Ag. Kim's ready to ruffle her feathers, so it's on with the whites and out with the tape. Let the cleaning commence. Before this grimy guano can be scraped away, Corinne has the challenging task of re-caging her feathered friends. Sylvie! Oh! Birds and cleaning chemicals just don't mix, so they're migrating upstairs for the big spring clean. I'm going upstairs. Yeah, I know you might not like it, but well, I don't like it much either, but I'm going to have a nice clean house. Do you know, Aggie, she's treating these birds like babies, but you can't put a nappy on a bird. Can't, no, you can't, though, can you? Unfortunately, no. I mean, this whole living room is an aviary, isn't it? Those birds have pulled that woman into submission. Oh, yeah. She needs to get her room back. We've got to start with the lounge, though, haven't we? Yeah. Because, you know, even she's fed up with the lounge. She is, that's right. And once we get the place clean and show her how to keep the poo under control, then she'll be fine. Oh, pigs might fly. Before Kim gets to work on shifting this poo, I'm going to test it for zoonotic infections. Now, those are the ones that are passed from animal to human. And I'll put it in this sample bottle here. Get the glove off. Send it off to the lab and see what results we get. These surfaces have been under aerial attack for eight long years. Even Trafalgar Square gets cleaned more often than that. Corinne, now, got to battle this bird's doobies, yeah, haven't we? it's a bit globby, isn't it? Paper towel. Mm -hmm. In I go. Just warm soapy water, washing up liquid. You yeah. can use a bar of soap. You can use biological mm. powder. I'm just putting this in, whatever you want. Yeah. You've always got it in your cupboard, you know. Mm. And then I'd, that... I'd use anything to get rid of all this. Well, I mean, it's so easy, yeah. lovely. Look at the difference. Then all I'm going to do, I've made a mixture of oxy bleach. Mm. There's no smell to it. It's so diluted, mm. but it does clear bacteria. I put 500 mils of water, just cold water in this yeah. bottle, and I put 10 drops of oxy bleach. Right. So read your bleach bottles, they're, di they're different strengths, mm. but thick bleach, not for this purpose. Yeah. It won't harm your birds, it's diluted too heavily, it has mm. to be. You can spray this on your wooden doors, painted doors, bits of paintwork. I'm not going to recommend spraying on a, a surface that you polish, but it's marvellous. It sprays on, it can spray in most places and it mm. takes every bacteria off. The clean team gets off to a flying start 
But Aggie has discovered a potent pong. Right, Corinne, I've cleaned out your stinky fridge for you. Oh, and thank goodness. Think I know what the source is. Look at this. Oh, this. my God. No, I don't want to look at it. I no. suspect it's ham. I don't know whether it is ham or beef. It's six months out of date. Oh, you know, no, you said your no. sense of smell wasn't that great, but you can get that, get can't you? Away from me. You can get that smell, can't you? Oh, yeah, I can. Right, just grim. dump it away. With pleasure. <laughs> right. The fridge is clean now. Oh, God. Right, and I'm going to get rid of any lingering smells with, watch this. A lemon. Yes, half a lemon. Mm. Take the fruit out. Mm. You're left with a citrus bowl and a bit of residue here. Yeah. Fill this with salt. Ooh. Right. Stick it. Why are you ooing and eyeing? Well, it looks like hard work, doesn't it? It's not all that. Mm. Hard work. Well, yeah, it looks. Dear me, girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so oh. this, put in the back of the fridge. The salt will absorb the bad smells, and the lemon will give it a fresh, natural fragrance. I like the thing about the, the lemon, really. Yeah, you know it's lovely I mean? and fresh, isn't mm. it? Nice. Meanwhile, carpet cleaner Dave is about to unearth more horrors. There's no easy way to break the news. You'll have to slug it to them. Oh, no. Uh, Kim, Aggie. What, what is it, Dave? What is that? Well, basically, it's that is slug trails, yeah. Oh, it's got a... That's a bit like the M25 on a busy day, that is. Oh. Look at that. All the lady can do is ventilate, vacuum. She will be living in a lot better environment. Well, we've got to sort this out. We need to try and persuade her to put the birds away for some time every day so she can get the air cleared and it will give her time to clean up as well. Oh, dear. Watch Corin squirm when she hears about the squatting slugs. Can you see that there, that web? Yeah. Do you know what it is? I haven't the fuckiest idea. Slug ah! Oh, my to God. Eat. Listen to this, because it's so important and it's going to hurt, but it's true. I hate slugs. Forget about the slugs. You can get rid of the slugs easily. Where do they come in from? They're coming in through the sliding doors. It's, yeah, just, it's yeah. because the atmosphere in here is so thick and heavy and dark because you're not ventilating the place. You're not ventilating the no, place because you can't this. let the birds mm. fly out. So the birds are the crux of the matter. You've got to are they? Well, in... What, they encourage the slugs in? No, 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 forget the slugs for a oh. moment. You need to keep... <laughs> you, you don't want to face up to the fact that you've got to get the birds in the cage most oh, of the time. No. Haven't you? You are more important than the birds. Mm. Yeah, you've got to get your life in order. You're going to have to have the birds inside the cages more than outside really? the cages. It's the only way mm. It's the absolute only you way. you break the news to them? <laughs> I'll help you. The cleaning crusade is halfway through, but there are plenty of shocks to come. So Corinne could be eating bird food. And Kim gets slippery with Corinne. No, not cooking oil, oh dear, please. Why Massage not? oil, please. Oh. Hello. It's eight years since bird lover and songstress Corinne Graham last cleaned her home. Her 11 birds have been free to roam, and boy, have they left their mark. Kim and Aggie are restoring order, ensuring no perch is left unpolished. Now we're going to clean this lamp now. Oh. Unplugged it. This is Charlie's perch. Put Charlie off for clean the lamp. Now, warm soapy water. I'll tell you something, warm soapy water is the answer to a great deal of cleaning, believe it or not. Mm. The old-fashioned method. Now, look, I'm going to do this. I'm going to quickly rub it over. All right. And all this, I'm going to give it a really good do. Now, Karin, watch, this will amaze you. I have a Worcester sauce, and off we go. Mm. Now, watch, I'm going to do this. Oh! Now, I'm going to show you something. You see, it has an acid in it, the Worcester sauce, and that does clean. Worcester sauce? Yes, Worcester believe sauce. it or not. I will turn the rag over. Now, I'm going to take you... You should wash the Worcester sauce off because oh, it's got acetic acid in it, as is vinegar. Mm. You should never leave it on, whatever. Take the acetic well, acid off. The light would cook it, wouldn't it? I don't know about that, but I think it might eat into it. Now, ha, oh, the old grandma's remedy. Newspaper. Newspaper? Always, yeah. Right. And we buff, dear, we buff. And tonight I've come up lovely. Ooh. They reckon the ink helps to polish it. Really? And the paper is so absorbent. And it's a wonder. It was, this is very. I remember during the war, my mum used to use it on her windows, and some old folks do today. But look at that sheen. You don't recommend using that. Um, what is that? That brass polisher. I can't oh, I'm, the no, name no, of I'm not opposed. 
Karen, mm -hmm. I'm not opposed to proprietary cleaners. They work yeah. beautifully. What I'm trying to do here with you is, if you didn't have it in and you could use um, a Worcester sauce, Worcester sauce, you can use a vinegar on that, you can use a piece of lemon. Mm -hmm. So it does work. And it's lovely to think you think, I cleaned it with those things without having to go to the shop. <laughs> While the clean team continue de-feathering Corin's unruly nest, our bacteria boffin delivers his shocking results. What is probably most worrying is the massive and widespread contamination with bird mm. droppings across every surface in the lounge. If you consider that uh, bird faeces, one gram of bird faeces could contain up to 10 billion bacteria and there may be 500 or 1,000 grams mm. of, of, of faeces distributed around the room, <sighs> that means there could be trillions and trillions of bacteria mm. within the room on those surfaces. Mm. And how is this being transferred? Kareen could be touching the surfaces mm. with her fingers. Will and then, be most definitely, yes. And then if she touches her mouth with mm -hmm. those, or even mm -hmm. a sandwich that she's making, yes. we've then got direct fecal oral transfer of bacteria from the surface to the mouth and into the gut. So Kareen could be eating bird poo? Well, <laughs> she, she may well be. And of course, fresh um, bird yes. droppings are a greater hazard than those that have dried onto a surface because bacteria will be much more viable yes. yeah, yeah. Uh, in the fresh droppings. With poo passing from hand to mouth, let's hope there's soap to hand. Now, Karen, this little soap dish I found ground with filth and slime oh. from your soap. These four! Where did you find those in, in there? your soap dish, dear? No. So what I did was, I did spend a bit of time, warm soapy water, the same as with the tiles in the bath. Yes. I did this, I got it cleaner, it took me longer, it was mm. rotten. Then I took my wonderful paper towel, absorbent and sheened yeah. it, sheened it up beautifully. You see all sheeny? Oh, right. You see that lovely shine? Now, what I intend to do is I'm going to take some oil. Oh. It can be bought baby oil, or some oil. baby... No, not cooking oil, oh dear, please. Why Massage not? oil, please. Oh. Now, I'm going to put a little bit on here and I'm going to put it over this dish. Now, I'm going oh, to... Yeah. I'm, I tell you why, oh, this is wonderful. And you're literally polishing it back off. But believe it or not, if you left sufficient oil on there, when you come to clean, the soap will slide off much more easily because yeah. of the oil you've put on. I think those were there when I moved in about eight years ago. Well, I don't want to hear that, I find that. I know. Just a minute, say that again. Those bars have been there eight years. Well, I think so. What, not the one on Top, not that pink one down there. But the but other three have been the HS. I think so, yeah. I don't, do you know, I don't know what to say to you. You've shocked me, do you? With the cleanup almost complete, Aggie hopes to convince Corin these birds need caging. So, first of all, get all the seeds in an old carrier bag. Now, you're always left with the mm. muck at the bottom. Oh, right, yeah. With the wee and poo, yeah. Now, what I do, I've got birds at home as well, I've got canaries. What I do is I keep an old green scratchy outside in the garden, specifically mm. for this job. I've got a very, very, very mild mm. soapy water here because we don't want anything Just too strong for birdies, do we? And then what we'll do is rinse this out with some <coughs> clear water. Mm. Now, mm. because you know, like me, that birds don't like to be damp, so always dry out the cage. And I mean, I think, you know, you love your birds yeah. and you like them clean and comfortable and you do it every three days and that's fantastic. Yeah. If you did your housework that often, well, that would no, be even better. Well, no, I mean, better. you know, the birds are more, mean more to me than this damp. <laughs> but you're saying your birds are more important than you are. Well, they are. But they're not curry. Oh, yes, they are, because, you know, I can look after myself, but my birds can't. But you haven't been looking after yourself. That's the well, whole point. you know, it don't matter too much about me. That's nonsense. There we are. So there we are. All uh, done. Good. Moshi the budgie will be very happy. Good. While Corin checks on her flock, the cleaners finish with a flourish of scrubbing and buffing. 24 hours ago, food festered, bird poo lingered, and the kitchen was just one big dirty bin. Now it's a gleaming gastro delight. Hey, wait, don't, don't move, don't move. Oh. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Oh! <laughs> Now, isn't it lovely? Lovely and shiny. Yeah. It's treat, isn't it? Great, isn't it? Are you going to keep it that way? Oh, I will do on. my best. I will, if I do oh. wash the bird's bowls out in the kitchen, now, I know how to clean them now, don't I? Please don't say that to me. Don't wash the bird's bowls out in the kitchen. Oh. The bathroom was a dingy, damp dump. Now it's pure polished porcelain. Open your eyes now. Oh! Oh, my God. 
Look at that, it's clean. Mm -hmm. I like the way everything's gleaming and really shining, isn't well, it? It'll stay that way, won't it? Uh, hopefully, yeah. yeah. Let's go downstairs and see wait. what else can't we've wait. got. The lounge was an awful aviary splattered with bird poo. Now it's been preened by the dream cleaning team. Wow, wow! Oh, my God! <laughs> 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 Not a bit of bird poo inside. No, I'm just going to clean that way. <laughs> Something's missing. Yes, well, birdies are still upstairs because it's too soon to put them down with all the chemicals that we've used. Mm. But we... you need to remember how important you are in this house. Yeah. You've now reclaimed your I living room. I suppose they did take over a little bit, didn't they? They did. You allowed them to take over. And, you know, come on, it's yeah. your living room. And they're <laughs> sharing it as well, but they've got their own space. Oh, yeah? dear. It's really important to keep it nice for you. I will. I will do my best. I'm... You will be back and we'll be having a very... <laughs> Very oh, God, close go. look. You'll yeah, no. be warned. You're okay. Dry bag iron, white no, I think gloves. you'll be pleasantly surprised. We hope so. Thank yeah, you. you. On will that be. note, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Man. Bye -bye. <laughs> See bye -bye. you next time. Bye bye. Nice to meet you. Keep clean now. Okay. Bye. <laughs> bye. We. <Whee. laughs> yeah, I'll just go and get my birds now. Two weeks later, and Kim and Aggie are back. But when they see the state of Corinne's house, will they be as proud as peacocks or as sick as two parrots? Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, sexy, sexy. <laughs> oh, the cows don't know about the kitchen. I've done my best, you know. Well, well I don't know. Yeah? I've done your best. Let's check your sink because it was a rubbish bin, wasn't it? Oh, you naughty girl. Oh. <laughs> Well, three spoons, but that's, that's not the end of the world. <laughs> I know, but I got back late and I just couldn't be bothered to If I look them, around, yeah. you've got clear sink, clear dish rack, mm. new plants. So, Corinne, it's good in here, but we want to look at the other rooms. Do you? Yes, Honestly. before we declare what we think. Oh, we better go and have a look upstairs. Come then. on, lead the way. Oh, it smells nice and fresh I in here. Was, I must check, Corinne. You remember okay. I went over this soap dish? Now, Corinne, do you remember? Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Why well, you've had no soap in it to get well, it dirty? I've had a bit of soap in there, but it's sort of, you know, <laughs> congealed, so and I decided to... Then... spotless? So I get top marks, then? Well, possibly. Mm. Not quite yet, because we haven't been downstairs to see what was Pooh Coroner. Are they in the Well, either. that's for me to know and for you to find out. Come in, ladies. I'm just a bit worried about these birds being loose. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh my god, giving us that look again, Kim. Yeah. <laughs> Got seven birds out here. Is this what's been going on since we No, what it is is when I'm at home, right, mm. then they can come out, right? But as soon as I'm going out, they all go home, right? I clean up their mess and then I go out. Every single Every time. Every single time, I swear that, honestly. Mm -hmm. Right, let's go up to this end of the room and see what's been going on what's up here. Point? There's not really much poo around at all. Well, I have tried. It's very hard to keep up with them, right? But they poo up to about, well, 30 times a day if you want, you know. Times 11, that's a lot of poos. Isn't that is a hell of a lot of poo. Yes, OK. Right, so you're going to be a good girl from now on, aren't you? You don't let the mm. birds out unless you know mm. that you're going to have time to clean it yeah. up. Well, usually the mornings are the best time for them to have their flap, mm. you know, their major flap, and then they can have a quick cuddle in the evening. Good. No, so Right. Keep great. up the good work. You it's been keep smashing me to I will you. try. <laughs> Thank you, Corrie. Well, OK, bye, 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 ladies. Good luck with the cleaning, lovey. Oh, I'll do up. my best. Try. <laughs> try not to come back, eh? <laughs> bye. Mm. Time for Kim and Aggie to leave Nottingham. They'll clean for the rich. They'll clean for the poor. And here's another local hero who's got them all in a quiver. Everywhere you go, this bird poo. Poor old Robin Hood. Oh, we've got to get dust in there, haven't we? Do you know, I've never known such a place as Nottingham for bird poo oh, everywhere. No, nor have I. It's disgraceful, Aggie. Yeah, Absolutely yeah. disgraceful. Yeah. Clean him up. He's got a bit of a fire here. <laughs> oh, Matron! I must do his quiver, Aggie. <laughs> you know this. 